Hello everyone, and welcome to My The Young, and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button, and give this video a thumbs up. According to Y and R spoilers for the upcoming two weeks, from May 20 to May 31, Kyle Abbott will come to a business deal that Diane Jenkins Abbott intended to make on her own, and she will prevent him from completing it. Despite Diane's extremely specific requirement, Kyle will have the documentation completed during the week of May 20 to 24. If Diane pushes this too far, he may lose his position as CEO. If Summer Newman isn't comfortable with Claire Grace taking the job as Harrison Abbott's nanny, Claire Grace will determine she can't accept it. Summer will remain skeptical despite Claire's best efforts to persuade her that she has changed her life. Nevertheless, Claire won't give up and will approach Summer with another request a few days later. Given Harrison's extreme difficulties, Summer might give in if she begins to think Claire could actually be of use. She'll plot with Devon Hamilton Winters instead of Lily Winters. If Lily can fool Billy into signing a new contract, there may be a way out of the whole mess surrounding the Chancellor and Winters. Lily will agree to support Billy Abbott's plan to team up with him at Chancellor, but she will maintain that they must abandon the merger and move past Winters. Something tells us all this cunning won't work out as smoothly as Lily wants, even though she will believe she can easily go after Billy and Jill Abbott after the merger is undone. Devon and Billy will argue passionately once more in the interim. It appears that Jack Abbott will discover the conflict while it is happening and try to mediate a settlement. Audra Charles, on the other hand, will become close to Nate Hastings and exacerbate both Tucker's desperation and envy. Sadly, when Tucker is trapped by Ashley Abbott's lethal alter ego, he will have to face with even worse news. When Miss Abbott is prepared to remove Tucker for good, how much damage can she do before Ash and Bell square off for supremacy? Jack and Tracy Abbott have agreed to do whatever it takes to support Ashley during her mental health crisis, regardless of how events turn out. Since Adam Newman and Chelsea Lawson will resolve more complex Connor Newman-related concerns, we should also discuss them. As Chelsea and Adam receive updates from Connor's doctors, Cole Howard will question Victor Newman over his recent tendency towards secrecy. Cole will be on the correct road to uncover Jordan's true identity because he will eventually spy Victor leaving the cellar. Speaking about Jordan, she'll try to figure out a way out and maybe succeed. Given that Nikki Newman will be returning from rehab at the same time, is it possible that she could run into her biggest enemy? Jordan's attempt at escape will eventually be discovered by Victor, who will step in, but Cole may provide a problem because he has to make a big decision. Cole appears to need to decide whether or not to report Jordan's captivity to the authorities. Naturally, Nikki might decide to call the cops instead, otherwise Jordan might pick up a phone and handle it herself. Whatever the case, Victor is expecting some unexpected guests at the ranch, so depending on how things work out, those guests might be the police. We will witness the repercussions of the most recent round of Uffavel in Jordan over the week of May 27 to 31. Will Victor be able to conceal the facts and keep everyone else in the dark, or will Jordan be placed under arrest by the police? It appears likely that she will begin her trial nanny run once she is back with Claire. Summer may accept this arrangement and keep a careful eye on her cousin, but she won't let go of her worries for Claire. Will serious measures be finally done in regards to Ashley's welfare? The true Ashley could need to be committed if she doesn't come forward and agree to receive assistance in a monitor facility. Ashley's family is going to face some challenges, based on our Y and R predictions, so stay tuned to see how they will respond to these challenges. Stay tuned for some growing drama over the coming two weeks, according to spoilers for The Young and the Restless. Spoilers for the young and the restless disclose Brittany Sarpy's position on the daytime serial. Her name can be seen in the end credits, as many have remarked, but she hasn't appeared in the show in months as Alina Dawson. She moved out of Genoa City to take a wanted job. Why is that? Continue reading to find out more.
Spoilers for the Young and the Restless. What was Elena Dawson's course? Spoilers for the Young and the Restless disclose Elena Dawson's fate. She put her jaw first when Victoria Newman won her over her ex-boyfriend, Nate Hastings. Elena took a job out of town as a result of this, but her name is still listed in the credits as Brittany Sarpy. In a post, Bally 1995 asked why Elena was left out of the credits. It's been over a year since she last used. If the actress continues to receive no compensation, then good for her. Viewers of Y and R reacted to the thread. Most of them conjectured about Brittany Sarpy's involvement in the soap opera. The actor might only film sequences when her character has a plot, if she is on a regular basis. Recurring roles are typical for full-time soap opera stars. Perhaps they should keep her name in the credits since she might return shortly. One admirer said, I hope the actress returns soon with a great storyline. I don't know what she is up to. Spoilers for the young and the restless disclose when she last appeared. She informed Nate she had accepted a job out of town months ago. Up until then, she was employed at the hospital in Juno City. It's possible that the authors of Y and R are at a loss for how to handle her character. The majority of the plots center on entrepreneurs or would-be entrepreneurs. For Genoa City, Alina Dawson was too conventional. That's most likely the reason the writers told her to get out of town. Characters that have interests outside of writing are a source of confusion for the writers. One fan stated, they're not interested if they can't be turned, like Chance or Sharon. Alina is a poor person, receiving the same treatment from this show that Sharon does. Another user wrote, and we are stuck with Claire, 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 the soup du jour. A new head writer and executive producer are expected to join the young and the restless. Late summer is when the changes should be noticeable. Viewers of Vi and R are hopeful that this indicates Elena will have a compelling plot. Have you noticed that the credits still list Brittany Sarpy? Is Elena likely to return to Genoa City? Mickey's house in a young and restless sneak peek from May 20 to 24, Ashley's buddy Alan, a psychiatrist, rejected her altar, saying it wouldn't be appropriate for them to have a sexual connection. This infuriated the altar, and Alan informed Tracy that he was growing worried about some of Ashley's more assertive altar personas. Yes, there were plenty of them. Then, Miss Abbott, her one alter ego, started aiming to assassinate Tucker. We have all the privacy in the world because this place isn't open for hours. Miss Abbott, Ashley's alter ego, informs Tucker about what's to come next week. Belle worries to herself. Oh no. Will you murder Tucker at this very moment? Will one of them put an end to Ashley's other alterations? Or will Ashley be able to halt them all on her own? Jordan has been hidden in a cage in Victor's basement, where he has been deceiving everyone into believing she died from a fall. In addition, he has been torturing her by making her drink vodka the way Nikki did, giving her the one meal she detests and roasting Brussels sprouts to the point of nausea. Cole says to Victor the following week, I think you're hiding something. I have no idea what you're doing or why. However, it doesn't seem like I'm getting the complete story when we speak these days. Cole observes Victor walking down the hallway with a serving tray. Will Victor be exposed soon? As she pulls her bag inside the ranch, Nikki exclaims, Victor, are you at your house? Victor, Nikki, please refrain from searching the basement for him. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like, and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.